Good day, brothers and sisters. Another day to spend with the Lord. Come, let us listen and reflect on His Word. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. John. When Jesus had washed the disciples' feet, He said to them, Amen, amen, I say to you, no slave is greater than his master, nor any messenger greater than the one who sent him. If you understand this, blessed are you if you do it. I am not speaking of all of you. I know those whom I have chosen, but so that the scripture might be fulfilled, the one who ate my food has raised his heel against me. From now on, I am telling you before it happens, so that when it happens, you may believe that I am. Amen, amen, I say to you, whoever receives the one I send receives me, and whoever receives me receives the one who sent me. The Gospel of the Lord No slave is greater than his master. John's Book of Glory Chapters 13 to 20 is read during the last half of the Easter season. These chapters contain the accounts of the passion, death, and resurrection of Jesus, the decisive events that constitute His glory despite experiences of suffering and humiliation. The context of today's Gospel is the Last Supper during which Jesus washes the disciples' feet. He tells His disciples to follow His example of love, humility, and service. He is the image of a true master like no other. In this world, masters seek to be served. Masters enjoy privileges. But Jesus allows Himself to be betrayed by Judas, a close companion whose feet He also washed. He freely gives Himself up because of love. Judas acts according to this world, while Jesus has his mind and heart set according to the purpose for which the Father sent him. Jesus' strength comes from the clarity of his purpose to fulfill the scripture. No slave is greater than his master. If we aim to follow Jesus and his example, he encourages us to determine the reason of our being for which God has put us into the world. From this, we will have the strength to follow Him.